Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hello, good morning and good, ev good evening. I am so late doing this. It is kind of late tonight. It's actually like, gosh, I don't know. It's like 10.30 p.m., close to 11 here. And uh, yeah, I was just really super exhausted today. I just have been really doing a lot of purging and cleaning and cleaning and more purging and taking a load to the Salvation Army tomorrow. So yeah, I really wore myself down. So that's why I didn't do anything today. I was like, wow, I'm not feeling good today. But I feel good right now before I go to bed. So I thought I would pump one out on the Doubling Down by Omid Scooby. He wants to muddy the waters of uh, the book Revenge. That's really what this is. And I also feel uh, this is sort of hoovering the public. You know, that's what narcs do. They hoover you. They can't let you go. They got to hoover back in. Uh, so anyways, it's uh, they got to clean up their ego, in essence. And uh, so, yeah, it's an attempt to uh, discredit uh, the book, the other book. And it's kind of shocking that he would even consider it. But this is allegedly, for entertainment purposes, allegedly, He's putting out another one just to muddy the waters. So, and to go into defense mode for Markle. Once again, he's being her tool. So let's find out about the doubling down of Omid Scooby. The doubling down of Omid Scooby. The doubling, the doubling down. Ooh, here we go. Yes, he has got a decision to make, a very difficult decision, and it could be a major compromise here. Yes. Because he's not telling the truth. Okay, we've got Knight of Swords in reverse. So it's looking like quite possibly he may not want to do it. And he feels like he is going to fall off his horse. Even attempting to. Because the sword is down, it would be lies. And it is, it's a dangerous situation. Right now he's staying silent. Uh, it could be disregarding others. Very reckless decision. He's not too certain. He is not too certain, but I know Markle is. It's a very impulsive decision. He's got lots of research to do. He doesn't have anything to research. It's research in reverse because upright, they're all about spying and researching. He doesn't have anything. He really doesn't have anything. And so that's the compromise. That's the difficult decision right there is he doesn't really have anything. He knows it's gonna, it could be very reckless to his own image. And we have the moon here. Fantasy, lies, and illusions. That's why it's such a compromise. <laughs> Let's get to the challenging position of doubling down. There we go. We have here the Eight of Wands in reverse. The lack of PR. Uh, not getting the coverage on the book. And also, not being love-bombed. Not having a positive effect with the Eight of, Pen eight of Wands in reverse. A stagnation. The last one didn't do well. It ended up in the discount bins. So he's afraid of another failed attempt. Uh, it's right now currently stalled and interrupted. Don't hold your breath. So this could be just a PR situation because it's in reverse. Don't hold your breath with this position. So it could, it's probably just to put a little, just for media attention, I suppose. Let's get to the focal point of doubling down and putting out Another book from Omid. We have here Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, he would like the money. It would be his legacy, but it would be a negative legacy if he falls off his horse holding his sword lying uh, and not getting the love he's hoping for. So it would be more negative and it'd be a negative legacy of the Ten of Pentacles. Let's get to the hidden energy. The hidden energy is the Ten of Cups in reverse with the King of Swords in reverse. Wow, very poor judgment. <laughs> Very poor judgment. He knows it would be very poor judgment. He's not the expert mentor. It wouldn't be very logical. Uh, and it would be, he does know that it would be very critical and cruel to do it. It's also about manipulation. And he also feels that he would be cut off. He knows Markle would cut him off too. He knows a lot of people would cut him off if he did this and had yet another failed book. Uh, also, Ten of Cups in reverse. It's breaking up emotional happiness of other people. It is peace has fallen, dreams are all shattered, broken relations. So, yeah, it's it's really breaking apart uh, people in general. It's just break. It's all it is is destruction. And he's going to be lying. He knows it's lying. He doesn't have anything. He doesn't have anything. It's a book of lies, another book of lies and breaking people up. So it's, it's like his legacy, it would be about destroying people. 
And so that's why he's, he's, he, it's just don't hold your breath. Right now, I think he's, pot, he's holding off on it. So the request has been made, not too certain, probably just PR on Markle's end. Let's get to the pass position here, pass position here. Hopefully he's not stupid enough to take it. Past position, he thought that his ships would come in, that he would get improvement in his life, that he would be, uh, that globe is domination. He could dominate the world. I've got this bestseller. This is that fantasy that everything's great. I'm going to have all kinds of creation of expression and people are going to want me. That was the fantasy of Finding Freedom, the first book. Going into the future, going into the future. We have here the Seven of Wands. So with the Seven of Wands, this is perseverance. Uh, he would have to use all means necessary. It would be a very stubborn card trying to overcome the challenges. You overcome the challenges of doubling down and trying to erase the negative effects of, um, of revenge. So it is very perseverant. It is being very uh, guarded. It is That is also... You know, that's that's just someone who knows they have to, they've got this last wand in their hand here. I've got one wand left. I got one excitement wand here where I think I might be able to do something with it. So that's not much to say. Holding one wand in your hand of enthusiasm and PR is not a whole collection of wands. This is like someone who's coming total uncertainty here because it's a seven. Sevens are all about waiting with uncertainty. So he's waiting. He doesn't know if he can even do it. He's like, I don't even think I have the enthusiasm or the, the, the steam to do this because look what happened last time. Last time I thought I was going to get improvement, I would have this global domination of being a royal reporter and a writer, but it all went south. So he's holding back. He is holding back. He's holding back. He knows it would be a negative legacy. Holding back, holding back, holding back. So he's holding back. Let's get to the feelings in the situation. We have here the nine of wands in reverse. So another reversal. There is absolutely no, no fulfillment here. He doesn't even think he's even close to succeeding here. Uh, there's a lack of enthusiasm, passion, creativity is in reverse. So once again, not looking too good. So it is a very much a defensive alert mode. He'd like to protect where he's gotten so far in life, which isn't saying much because he has been ridiculed, you know, relentlessly. And he just, yeah, this isn't going to bode well for him. He knows it. There's just no fulfillment and not even getting close. He just knows I'm probably just going to miss my mark again. I'm just going to miss my mark. Yeah, that would be really humiliating. Let's get to the outside influences. Outside influences is the sun. The sun, yeah, he would like happiness, joy. He wants it. He would want it to go well. He would want the glow up card. I want to glow up. Will this actually help me glow up in life? Can I seed glow up? Can I seed more attention? Can I seed more purification of my image that I ruined from the last book? This is about purification too. Can I purify my image into a positive Ten of Pentacles? But this is all negative right here. So it doesn't look like it. He's kind of realizing now. But that's really what he'd like from the outside sources. He wants the world to purify him and to purify Megan. It's about purifying Megan. It's about purifying her reputation. Let's get to the next position, the hopes and fears. The hopes and fears. Hopes and fears with this. Doubling down. Okay, the Hierophant. That is leveling up, going with tradition and values along with the three of swords and tr yeah trying to go with along with the, the tradition of values so this is like trying to talk about healing with queen elizabeth because this is the queen elizabeth card the hierophant uh it's the institution it's the firm and trying to heal the hopes and fears is to heal the wounds that were created and cause healing so he would hope that he can heal markle markle within the firm and her reputation with the firm and with the queen and everybody else in the firm and everybody else in the family about the betrayals and acting like, um, you know, they're all healing. Uh, everything's cool. Uh, it will heal. This rift will heal. It wasn't that bad. Uh, there was just communication problems and it was all a lie. Everything that they're saying about her and how she, how she uh, wouldn't uh, do duties is all a lie. So it's kind of like trying to backpedal in some respects, I feel, with that. Let's get to the final call. Final call. 
Yep, we got the Ace of Swords. He wants people to go, aha, ooh, clear mind. Wow, clear logic. His crown chakra is open. Oh my goodness, that's a controlled action. Law and order. He wants people to see her as the truth. Breakthrough insight, getting approval. He wants approval. He wants the purification of Markle. Purification of her and to paint her in a better light within the firm that she wasn't the betrayer. She's the one who's wounded and trying to heal. It's not what it seems. Very typical. Very typical. I'm going to calculate these two here with that hopes and fears. Uh, that comes to five, six, seven, eight. Ah, where's that book? Eight comes to two of spades. Two of swords in essence. So it goes back to this one here with the hopes and fears. It's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a compromise. Difficult decision. That she had difficult decisions to make. And it's not what it seems. You know, she had to compromise being in the firm and the family. It was too much of a compromise. And they're the ones that betrayed her. Not the other way around. So that's what he's going to paint. Wanting people to agree with them. Oh my God, that's clear insight. Wow, uh, that is some woke stuff. That is, he's got his his heart shot. He's he is no, he's all knowing with that Ace of Swords. Clear insight. Uh, he he would know. So that's that clear insight. There's my glasses. Let me move that. So this is um this is definitely kind of scapegoating, scapegoating and lying. Uh, it's not what it appears to be. Um, that's gaslighting. So there's some gaslighting on the table here. Uh, so it's basically, it's a book of gaslighting. Really, this doubling down for another book is nothing but a book of gaslighting. He should call it Gaslighting by Scooby, Scooby, Omid Scooby, instead of doubling down. Doubling down with gaslighting is the way I think I would uh, label it. Yeah, so yeah, um, that's how I see it for this. Um, let's see, I'll calculate these two. 10, 23, that comes to 23. The hidden energy is 23. 23 comes to six of clubs. That is the winning, 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 winning. He wants to win, but he doesn't think he can because the sword is down. He is not the thought leader. He's not the expert mentor of anything. It's in reverse. It's just manipulation and cruelty. And he's not gonna, It's nobody's gonna be pleased with it with the 10 of cups in reverse. That is totally... All pieces fallen, dreams are shattered, broken relations. So it's not looking like it's in the positive sense for him. If he should do it, it's going to go very badly. And his attempt really is to gaslight and purify Markle. And to help purify himself, but he's really got nothing on the table. He's got nothing. He's got no information here with the Knight of Swords in reverse. He really doesn't have the, 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 the tools available uh, to put out a smart book that can even come close to revenge. Uh, and I think he realizes that too. He just cannot compete with that. Uh, we got here at the center of the deck, we have 10 of wands. Yeah, very burdened, totally burdened. Uh, knows he can't do it with the four of pentacles, uh, which is the uh, holding closely to your chest, feeling very possessive. So he, he wants to do it. He's got that greedy, it's the greedy miser card with the four of pentacles. He's got greed. He wants money. He wants residual benefits, but he knows it would be a major burden on his back. And it's not looking good for him whatsoever. Going to calculate this. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 comes to four of diamonds. Once again, greedy miser card. It would be for money. Money and lies. Book of lies of gaslighting. Yep, that's exactly how I see it. Ooh, And he can't afford to do this. He really can't afford to do this yet again. That really would tank and destroy him. Being hopeful, but it doesn't look good for him at all. That's how I see it. I hope you guys enjoy this. Till next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.